this video, I'll be looking at current ratio, working capital, and quick ratio. First of all, the current ratio. Current ratio is basically a liquidity ratio that measures companies' ability to pay its short-term obligations. This is the formula. Sorry, this is the formula, current ratio. To calculate, click in E5 equals current assets divided by current liabilities, hit return. Generally speaking, this ratio should be more than 1, which indicates the company has enough assets to pay off its liabilities. However, care should be taken when analyzing companies because a company might have enough borrowing capacity and this ratio and that situation would not matter. However, I would say in the current economic situation, it's very important that a company has enough money to pay off its, at least its current liabilities. To calculate working capital, you click in E6 equals current assets minus current liabilities. And this basically gives you a figure, a number, which is the amount of cash the company has on hand to pay its liabilities. Moving on to quick ratio. Quick ratio is basically an indicator of a company's short-term liquidity. The quick ratio measures the company's ability to meet its short-term obligations with most liquid assets. The higher the quick ratio, the better the position of the company. In this ratio, the formula is current assets minus inventory divided by current liabilities. To do this, you click in E14 equals, open a parenthesis, current assets minus inventory, close a parenthesis, divided by current liabilities, and hit enter. Like the current ratio, generally speaking, this ratio should be more than one. And again, it's not just the outcome that you're looking at, you have to look at the other circumstances as well. Whether the company has recently taken on extra loan to do a project which might take some time to realize profits. Information which would link to such a move by the company would generally be on the financial statements, in particular the commentary to the financial statements. So care should be taken when calculating this and analyzing these ratios.